friends welcome to global online today we are discussing nta ugc net 2023 paper 1 and in this class we discuss about people development and environment a beautiful topic from ugc net and in this class we discuss about sustainable development goals from people development and environment through mcq okay and first deal with the question how many goals for sdg here the SDG is the Sustainable Development Goals and there were there are 17 goals for SDG and the SDG goals are a collection of global goals set by United Nations General Assembly in 2015 for the year 2030. So the SDG are the part of resolution of the United Nations General Assembly and this is agenda to 2030 year. Okay, and next question related to the, and here the given the chart for the circle that provides the 17 goals accordingly. So it changes our world. So uh, for changing a country, it will change the whole world. It's an idea that related to sustainable development goals from no poverty to partnership for the goals is the major ideas related with SDG. So these are the 17 goals and it will really help you to get the 17 goals from the chart okay and for a underdeveloped country to become development these are the major objectives or these are the major goals from no poverty then to no hunger or zero hunger and to good health quality education gender equality to partnership for the goals so these goals are the backbone of the SDG and the next question related to the SDG in India. So SDG is a global plan and also India is related to SDG and is prepared by which institution? Whether it's RBI or Nidhi Aayog or Ministry of Education or Finance Ministry. So the answer for this is Nidhi Aayog. Nidhi Aayog is the institution that prepare for SDG in India and will support the SDG in India. So this is a baseline report of the Sustainable Development Goals in India index and this com comprehensively the documents for the progress that made for the India states and union territories towards implementing the 2013 SDG targets. So, this institution will play major role in preparing the SDG for India. Clear? And before we move into the next question, let's look what Global Online offering for you. We provide live lectures, video lectures on all units and 60 plus mock tests last 10 years PYQs complete notes regarding to the paper one and also 4000 plus MCQs from question bank so you can get it for fee for uh, 4500 but here the after 20 percentage discount off you can get 3600 till January 5 okay so you can get our demo classes from the app both in english and hindi and you can get uh, to download link from in the comment box any clothes regarding to this please contact with the given whatsapp number and next we move to the question the ministry that's responsible for monitoring the sdg here the ministry is given so first we deal with the plan or authority that prepare for SDG and here the ministry that regulate or monitor the progress after the functioning of the SDG the ministry that will uh, that will calculate or will monitor the progress that is the institution for or the ministry of statistics and program implementation and uh, this has been entrusted with the responsibility of developing the national indicator framework that is nif that will help to monitor the progress of the sdg and associated targets clear and the a minister of the statistics and program implementation is Indrajit Singh. Okay. And the next one related to the SDG came into force on. So here the SDG that's officially came into force on 1st January 2016. And first is proposed in 1972. And that is the Club of Rome. That is a think tank of globe. 
at that time that is the think global think tank and the sustainable development goals have to be achieved by 2030 it's officially or came into force in 1st january 2016 and the sdg 17 deals with so friends you can uh, get a question so uh, one or two question related to the sdg ordering or uh, or any question related with the sdg 3 4 or 17 etc so you can get the uh, complete idea about the goals and also the targets okay so first here the given the 17 what is the sdg 17 deals with that's for partnership to achieve goals that is the last goal of sdg clear and the life on land life below water the no poverty no poverty is the first goal and life on land is the 15th goal that is the 15th goal here and life below water that's life below water is the just before that is 14th goal so you can get uh, or you can deal with one or two question easily you can order these goals okay so this is 17 and life on land 15 life below water 14 and no poverty is related to the first goal okay and the next question related to the formally sdg are known or the formal name for sdg here the given 22 22 and 30 so here the 22 uh, given the 2 uh, 2022 is given is wrong because the agenda is for 2030 and with this a and d what is the right answer here the answer is transforming our world in 2030 agenda it is the formal name related to sdg so also this is known as global goals also okay that's adopted by united nation in 2015 and came into force on 2016 january and it's the universal call to action to end poverty and protect the planet okay that's to ensure uh, all people to enjoy peace and prosperity and that's will achieve in 2030 clear and next question the time period for achieving sdg from 2015 uh, that's introduced in 2050 and came into force on 2016 that's for uh, 2015 to 2030 that's a 15 years that's for 15 years the answer is 15 and the un conference that uh, for so on sustainable development was held in which year so the un conference is uh, held in which year that related to sdg that is 2012 on building on millennium development goals that uh, the sdg will also bring up and 20 years after the 1992 earth summit that's in rio de janeiro and after 2012 the united nation conference on sustainable development that's also known as rio plus 20 that result into a document that containing the clear and practical steps that for the implementation of sdg so the un conference on sdg was held in 2012 okay next one is related to the sustainable development came into existence the term sustainable development came into existence in which year that's in 1980 for the first time sustainable development came into existence in 1980 aim to transform our world okay so uh, don't uh, don't get uh, ca- confused with these years in 1980 the term sustainable development came into force and in 2015 sustainable development goals came into effect and in officially that came into 2016 and the end period is 2030 okay and the next one is sdg 13 so here the sdg 13 is important one and also the repeated one in ugc net questions question paper so what is the sdg 13 and also uh, it's an climate action is the one that uh, that can uh, we can see that in newspapers also uh, they provide uh, about the sdg 13 goals 
So, the climate action is the one that relate with the SDG 13. Okay, and the uh, equality, clean water, that's also the related uh, plan or the related thing. Okay, and 14, 14 is the one that is life below water uh, that we deal in earlier question and life on land that is 15. 17th one is partnership for the goals. And here the SDG deals with quality education. You can also get the uh, question like that. The quality education related to which goal or the fourth goal related to which SDG. Okay, well, sorry, which goal? Okay, and that is the fourth. So, the fourth goal is the one that related to the quality education. And the next one, MGNREG, related to MGNREG, that situation based question. Here, the MGNREG scheme was launched in 2006. And to achieve which of the following SDG? So, we want to uh, answer or we want to answer uh, here what is the SDG here. The MGNREG is given as a situation or uh, you, you want to know uh, both the plan or what is the MGNREG and also what is the SDG that related to MGNREG. So, MGNREG is the the employment program that is Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee and the act came on 2005 and later it launched in 2006 and this is the labor law and also related to the poverty. So the first SDG is related to the uh, MGNREG plan. Okay for no poverty for making a country from poverty free the mgnreg is launched uh, during the uh, during manmohan singh government and that's also guaranteed the right to work uh, you can uh, you get if the 100 days work in a year that's a plan regarding to mgnreg clear and next one is the state that topped in sdg index report 2019 and that's the state Kerala. Kerala is the state in which uh, topped the SDG index in 2019. And which is the youngest state to top the SDG index that is Telangana. And uh, India is uh, top uh, ranked in 57th place in SDG. And Gujarat with 4th place or in India Gujarat in 4th place. Okay. So, India is the first state to top SDG and Telangana is the state that topped as a youngest state. Okay. Next one related to the gender equality. Which SDG related to or says about the SDG, uh, sorry, SDG goal? The one is given as poverty and also uh, the, what is the three is given about good health and Two is given about zero hunger. So, which is the goal? That is fifth goal. So, first one is no poverty. And third one is related to good health. And second one is zero hunger. So, fifth one is related to gender equality. And fourth one is regarding to quality education. Clear. And next assertion reasoning question. That's for sustainable development is critical to well-being of human society. That's right. And the reason is about environmentally sound policies do not harm the environment or deplete the natural resources. That's also right. So both are right and also the correct explanation of assertion because for sustainable development that's a, a environmentally sound policy that make or that will uh, encourage the natural resources for do not depleting or also do not harm the environment. So, both are right and R is the correct explanation of A. Clear students? And next, for the homework question regarding to SDG, the how many goals? So, how many goals we see? That is 17 goals. And here, the uh, how many targets for SDG? And here, options 200, 140, 159 and 
169 so you can answer the question in the comment box and any queries or any confusion or doubts regarding to this question you can please ask in the comment box where we will uh, resolve your uh, doubts okay and we will meet in next video until then thank you have a nice day